Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is a very exciting day. I bought about 35 pieces of equipment that's been sitting in these barns for the last 25 years. The owner called me and another dealer and I outbid the other dealer and I got it all. So I'm pretty excited. So here's the first barn with most of the goodies in it. I get this junk little wagon here. Pretty nice j &M gravity wagon, grain drill, fiberglass 5040 grill, John Deere 494A planter, sickle mower, pretty nice archway, 400 feed grinder, wagon, Oliver 1800 diesel, Oliver plow, Alice Roto Baylor cultivator, lawn mower, corn head, mulling combine, gleaner combine, AC 1200 cultivator, moline, 5040, hay crimper, and pull type bush hog. So that's all that's in this barn. And I'll show you guys more of the equipment once I get home and um, give you guys a better walk around because all of this is available at the moment. This video ain't gonna go on for four months and everything be sold by the time I get the video out. So you guys will have a chance at buying some of these pieces off of me if you are interested. So um, yeah, I wish that came in the package. That'd be nice. <laughs> Probably tear everything up with that thing. And then back here, we got this manure spreader, pretty nice case. And then I'm pretty sure these two hay wagons go, but I'm not 100% sure. I have to text the owner again and see if those go or not. Hope they do, but if they don't, it ain't the end of the world. I got a pretty good deal on this package. Um, so I'm not complaining one bit. I got my buddy out here with me today. He's pulled my other gooseneck. So we're gonna be hauling two loads out of here at a time, seeing how much we can get done today and go from there. So I told him, get in the skid loader and start getting some stuff done while I make this YouTube video. But we'll see what happens here. Hopefully everything goes smooth today and we get most of it done. That's the plan anyways. In this barn here, we got a a little dump wagon, a Dodge Omni. I really wish this thing ran and drove. I mean, I don't know nothing about it, so it might just fire up. This would be the perfect beater car. But then we got a grain evader feed wagon here in really nice shape. This thing's nice. And then we got a Plymouth with suicide doors. I have no clue what the car values are. I just valued them as scrap. So we'll see what happens and go from there. If I, I got a guy wanting this thing maybe, I just gotta figure out a price first. But if he doesn't want it, then I'm gonna haul it straight to Jeff Boone Auctions um, because he's a big car guy and he'll get what they're worth. So that'll be what I do with them if I don't get them sold within the next couple days. But then there's a little auger right there and whatnot. It looks like a little subsoiler over here. But, so there's first two barns. And then the last barn, there's three J&M gravity wagons in there. I think they're 350 bushel wagons in really good shape. He's dragging them out and loading them up. But on the other side here, there's a pretty nice Oliver manure spreader. It needs a floor, but other than that, it looks to be in pretty good shape, pretty solid. 280 model is what it is. Sure, it's worth a pretty penny, but I guess we'll find out. And then there's a mower, a blower, a couple more molines in here, a planter and a moline generator um, and whatnot. So quite a few goodies and I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strap the GoPro to my head 
and uh, get to work loading. So, hope you all enjoyed today's video. And uh, once I get everything home, I'll give you a better tour. Today's Bible verse is going to be coming out of Romans chapter 12, verses 9 and 10. And it says, Love must be completely sincere. Hate what is evil. Hold on to what is good. Love one another warmly as Christians. And be eager to show respect for one another. Take her. Try to swing that open with this here. Oh, yeah. See what happens. What's worse that can happen? Tear it up. to do is 
way. Honestly surprised the thieves didn't take the battery. And I'll show you guys later on what I'm talking about by thieves. Because the thieves came in here and destroyed this place.
Huh? You weren't lying, that's an old machine. I think I'm gonna grab this one. This one? Yeah. Put it in there backwards. Like bucket forward. Yeah. Torture. Yeah, look, the thieves came in here. Tried to get all the radiators out of everything. Messed all that up. Over here they got it out. Ripped all the tin off. The Oliver back there, they got the radiator out of it. Well, they want the radiator somewhere. Well, shoot, maybe I'll just grab that one, actually. It might be the easiest. Yank out of the hole. They take them to the scrapyard and get like 20 bucks. I mean, there's a tree there, I don't know. We can try it. Yeah, that's heavy. I've scrapped a few of them. Try to push that door open with a skid loader. Hey, hey, trailer. Face jet.
fuck off. Take it off? Yeah. Dang, she's weighted down. Yeah, I'll just push it on there now. Huh? I can't steer. Oh. You broke. That's alright. You can unhook this.
get on that tire, maybe. Maybe. Better go.
broke on that. What the heck? On this, the hitch is broke. Oh, maybe it's just buried. What they used to use to cut the wheat? Oh, yeah. Get out there and start cutting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, heck. All right, see what happens. Whoops. Think you can stand in there and it weigh enough?
uh, load number three, um, but we're about home now with load three and four. Uh, my buddy's in front of me with load number three, and then I got load number four right here. I think we might be able to get two more loads today, and then tomorrow will just be me again. So glad, thankful that I had my buddy's help today uh, because if I didn't have him, I wouldn't have got as much done. But yeah, here's load number three. He's got two manure spreaders, a hay crimper, a wagon, some junk, and then a couple lawnmowers on the other side, which are a wheel horse and some other weird mower. Um, and then I just got a pull type bush hog sickle mower, the 5040 with the loader and a feed grinder on me. So um, that's it. But hopefully we get this unloaded pretty quick. My John Deere is acting a little funny, so hopefully it gets these two loads unloaded. And we can go back and get two more loads and then I can worry about unloading them here this evening or first thing in the morning. But yeah, sweet rig air. Need me a brush guard on the front of this truck. I guess I'm gonna pull in the drive here, get everything unloaded. And then I'll throw another GoPro battery in my GoPro and try to get some more footage for you guys. Alrighty guys, we made it back. Let's see what we can get on this load now. Oh shoot. Need that fork too. Oh gone it.
thing's that perfect on there.
go. Come on, buddy, already coming back. There we go. Should slide now. I didn't even know it was in there. It's got spoke wheels on it. Pretty sweet. Didn't even know it was hidden in there. My buddy pointed it out to me. I was like, sweet. Didn't know that was in there.
on there. So that don't happen again. Oh, the wine fell. This is old wine. guys made it back for day two um and yeah just me today got 25 pieces home yesterday on six loads so that is pretty pretty good hopefully today i get most of the rest of it home pretty chilly morning here so you can get the old bobcat 
warming up, but first, need to check the Earl. Still on there, so that's all that matters. And then, need to run the glow plugs and let her warm up. This barn's a pretty cool old barn. They must have ran horses and stuff through it because there's a lot of saddles and everything in there. Um, really cool barn, but sadly it's gonna be pushed in a hole and never seen again. But um, yeah, so let these glow plugs go. Old girl, fire out of I'll let that warm up for a minute. The rest of the stuff in this barn, I mean, there's not much. I got most of it out of here yesterday. There's just that generator and then some little pieces right over there that I need to grab. And then the rest of it just needs pushed in the hole. Um, and this barn over here though, we still got the cars in here and then the auger and the little wagon right there, which I'm gonna try to get all this out today. The cars will be the last thing to go because they're getting hauled straight to an auction. Um, but this wagon, I'm gonna have to throw a bunch of stuff in it still. So that might be a last thing to go as well. Um, so yeah, this barn, the only thing I've touched in here was the grain evader that was right there. The rest, yeah, still in there. And then the big old tool shed back here, it's getting pretty cleaned out. So that's good. Walk back in here, show you progress I made yesterday. So yeah, we still got the grain drill and the planter. Both combines, cultivator, plow, duels, corn head, and then the other three bottom plow head in behind there. Maybe and get over there and that other three bottom plow in there so i think this first load is i'm gonna grab that the plow the duels and the corn head get that stuff out of here and then we'll worry about the cultivator the planter drill and the combines um try to get all that stuff out today as well as the dump wagon in the other barn and the hay wagon back in here so all this stuff on this hay wagon, I'm gonna throw in that other wagon just so it don't bounce out on the way home. Um, and yeah, pretty good parts on here. Some starter weights for like a 30, 10, 30, 20, 40, 20. Um, hitch over there off like a planer or something, a couple cylinders, a few good parts on there. But I got one GoPro battery, so I'm probably not gonna use it on the first load just because it's going to be the plow and the cultivator and um easy stuff hopefully so i'm not going to worry about filming that but when i come back to try to yank the combine and stuff out of here then i'll make sure to try to capture that for you guys so i'm gonna get the load in put all my clothes on because it's cold out here and get to work. So the GoPro's telling me to use a faster SD card. So hopefully this footage is good. I don't know. I don't know nothing about GoPros and technology, but we got most, at least like one load for the most part done. That'll be load number seven. I'm gonna try to get the combine pulled out here. That's why I turned the GoPro on because there's the plow behind the Moline I'd love to throw on the back of that load. So I'm gonna see if I can move the combine here and get it yanked out of here. Oh, wow. I did not expect that one bit. It's pulling really good. I need to get this bean head off of here too. I just don't know how you do that. See if I can get it drug out first. And then we'll figure it out.
time in 30 years, 25 years. Oh, I ripped it out of the ground. This has its own motor on it. I didn't realize that. Huh. Yeah, so there's the plow I'm after. I didn't tear it up, that's good. Get it drug out of the barn here. The old gleaner. I don't know if I can fit next to it. get to chaining and then i'll pick you guys up well it's day number three now um i can't remember when i stopped filming yesterday i think it was after i got the combines out of the barn but i got four loads home yesterday um the cleaner combine i did get it gone i winched it right up on my trailer and it worked pretty good so um that is at home now and then I guess the anhydrous tank in the other barn went, so I came back last night and got the anhydrous tank and the other hay wagon that was right there. Um, so those two pieces are gone. And I can't remember what else was on the other loads. But I'm getting, it's dwindling down a good ways. Um, I got the two cars left. The two cars, the auger in that barn, the corn reel in the back barn and then that full tight moline and the field cultivator left and then just a few little miscellaneous pieces over there and a few miscellaneous pieces on the other side of there and then this feet or this cedar right there but it's dwindling down i'm gonna grab the cars this morning and then i'm really behind on shipping ebay parts so um i got here early this morning to get a load out of here and then i'm gonna unhook get all my parts shipped and then come back this evening and probably pull the skid loader and the moline combine on. I'm hoping to just get it drug on the tail, lift it up and pull it that away. But who knows what'll happen. Because that thing is super wide and it ain't gonna fit. So I'm gonna uh, just pull, uh, back the skid loader on hooked up to the combine and get it on the tail and raise it up and see what happens because i got a skid loader at home that i can pull and push so 
it should work pretty good i i think i hope um and then the cultivator it ain't fitting on the trailer like i think i said so i'm just gonna throw some brand new tires on it and pull it home just because that thing's you know shred my boards on my trailer to heck so that's the plan get these cars drag out of here this morning and this auger and come back this evening so if my gopro battery has some juice left in it i'm gonna film yanking these cars out of here hopefully get them loaded up and get back on the road look at that beautiful morning here in central indiana beautiful so i can't get this car out of park because i can't find the key so we're gonna have to drag it the key might be in it but if you guys could smell what the inside of the car smells like whew, you want to worry about getting it out of park either because goodness gracious this thing reeks Lifting her off the ground. Oh, come on. Now, I gotta figure out how to run the winch to get the other one. We'll make it work. Oh yeah, she's pretty, pretty soft. got the original pub caps on her when was it played his last may something oh yeah she's pretty rotten huh i mean it's still got some decent bones on it but it's pretty rotten I think I might just leave the car right there. Unless I think I can get that auger on there. Fine if it hangs off the back, but I just don't want it four inches off the ground. Holy cow. Sure did drag a lot. The muffler fell off, doggone it. Yeah, that side was sunk. Oh, there's a groundhog hole there still that auger actually might fit on there pretty decent i'm lying to myself that auger ain't fitting on there i'm a dummy i think this is load number 10 11 11. yeah that auger ain't fitting on there oh, i should push that car over that's all right. Oh, well. Oh, well. So, I'm going to just strap this load down. Get it home. Do my eBay. And then come back here once I get my eBay done. And go from there. So, I guess I'm going to set you guys down. And... Go do my eBay and try to get this wrapped up today. Here we go, pretty much the last and final load. I still gotta come and grab that, but I'm putting tires on it. And shoot, I forgot to throw the tires on. Doggone it. But here it is, got the combine on the back air. And I was going through the barns one last time and uh, hidden away in the corner. I found some of the slab weights for the Oliver 1800. I had the starter on it, but I didn't see these, so. Glad I found them hidden away. And I just got some auger extensions and stuff like that. And then just some miscellaneous crap on the front here. And then yeah, got the old combine on there. 
generator, skid steer, and yeah. So the cultivator is one thing that still needs to go, which like I said, I'm gonna put new tires on it and drag it home. Just because if I load it, it's gonna tear my trailer all to crap. Um, and then I still have this eight row oh, corn feeder or whatever. When the corn's knocked down by the wind, you put that on your corn head and it picks it up a little bit better. But this barn's pretty much clean. Um, got the cedar that was up there. And then over here, there's still some junk over here, but I ain't even gonna worry about dragging it out. That lawnmower. And then there's some moline cultivator pieces there. They might be worth money, but I'm sure they're gonna just go to the scrap yard. So I'm just gonna leave them right there. And then, yeah, that barn, the barn's pretty much done yesterday. I just dragged a couple pieces out of there today. Just some miscellaneous moline parts. In here, still a lot of junk, but nothing I'm interested in. I don't see nothing else that's good. I do need to drag that out and lean it against that because that goes to the moline pull type combine. So I need to drag that out still. I was gonna take this wheelbarrow just cause it's freaking cool steel wheel and everything, but it's gonna stay cause I have, I'm getting tired of it. Right be done. It's like, I don't even know what temperature it is outside, but it's hot. And then the big tool shed back here is cleaned for everything that I want out of it. I need to ask the guy, see if he knows where the titles are for them cars, because that'd help my resell pretty good. But yeah, it's pretty clean in here. A lot better than it was. I scrounged through this. Found some good stuff, but not much. Some Oliver weights were hidden right there. So glad I found them. There was some old Alice parts, but the boxes are junk. So I ain't gonna worry about taking them and whatnot. But yeah, pretty excited. I'm glad I was able to uh, get this deal done and uh, glad the other buyer down to get it because i think it's a really good deal i guess i'll find out when i start selling stuff but i'm gonna put a lot of tires on stuff or see if they hold air or not and then in here i got both hay wagons out the plow they're keeping and then there's an anhydrous tank there i grabbed it last night i should grab these sides but i do need to grab those sides because they're for that john deere wagon that i Gosh dang it, that I took home yesterday. And then this this was supposedly in the deal. I didn't know, but then um, the owner wants to keep it just cause once he tears everything down, he needs something to knock down all the dirt and everything. And that disc is in really good shape. So, I mean, I wasn't mad about it because I didn't even know it was in the deal. So that's fine with me. Um, would've been nice this to have, I think it's a case. It's not an Alice, it's too heavy for an Alice. But, yeah, I guess I need to grab them sides, lean that other thing in the other barn out, and then pretty much a wrap. So I'm gonna get this load home after I drag everything out, get it where I want it. And then once I get home, I guess I'll give you guys a walkthrough of everything that I drug out of here so if you're interested in anything you can shoot me an email it'll be in the description below um, and go from there this moline pull type combine if i don't have it sold i might haul it up to polks for their april april sale because that's the place where it'd bring what it's worth for sure even though it's super duper wide but it is what it is i guess so yeah, that's that. I guess I'll pick you guys up when I get on home. Well guys, it's been a few days now. I got everything hauled home. I've been doing some other trucking here uh, since. 
but this video is already long enough so i'm gonna end it here make a part two going over everything for you guys to give you guys a better look at everything and possibly see if you guys have any interest in anything so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video i'm glad i was able to film it all for you guys dragging everything out of the barn and uh show you guys pretty much everything i getting it all hauled home so hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to hit that like button for me if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and if you know anyone interested in any, in any of these pieces make sure to share the video with them i sure would appreciate it and i guess if you want to see more about everything make sure to stay tuned for part two so i guess i'll catch you all on the next one thanks for watching take care and god bless